Hey, hey everybody, just a quick video about how to make a flight plan on the Xbox Series X in MSFS. So from the main menu you go to the world map and then you choose your aircraft uh, if you want to do IFR. Um, obviously an airliner would be a better choice. So use the A320 for now. And once you've selected the aircraft and set up everything else that you want, like your call sign, etc., um, you're here and you now select your departing airport, for example, GCC in Manchester. Oh, I missed one C. Manchester and your arrival airport doesn't really matter which one yeah I just go for EG KK Echo Golf Kilo Kilo which is Gatwick in London so when you've done that um, here will appear a new drop down which is by default always VFR direct GPS so basically what this means is you have one straight line from your departing airport to your arrival airport. Uh, this is not a proper procedure and it won't get you properly aligned or stabilized to the runway. So you can select here VR to VR. This is like radio navigation or here down in the section of IFR you have low altitude airways and high altitude airways. For such a short flight you can use low altitude airways. So uh, if you click here in the top right on knife lock you can see the maximum cruise altitude that MSFS chooses for you automatically for this length of the flight. So 14,300 is yeah, kind of weird. It, MSFS usually thinks you're flying in the US where um, 18,000 feet would be a transition altitude uh, where you then don't talk about feet anymore but flight levels so 18,000 feet after transition would be flight level 180 um, I would just change this one here to 16,000 feet and it will adjust so then you can close your nav lock already so when you've changed to IFR low altitude airways you have here all these different uh, waypoints and here are some more drop downs available now so basically for departure um, this is called a SIT a standard instrument departure those are predefined uh, routes which uh, make sure that after departure uh, you don't run into any obstacles or maybe there are some um, restricted airspaces around the airport that you are not allowed to enter and these predefined routes, these departures, make sure that you don't uh, enter those areas. So um, if you choose here one, we have now pre-selected runway 23 left. So it shows at first the ones for 23 left and below the other ones for the other runways. This golden line is basically the uh, so-called SIT. So this is the departure route and you can check which yeah, basically fits your route the most. You can see sometimes it makes some really weird loops. Yeah, this one looks quite nice. Uh, the turn should be fine. It's not too, yeah. Not too narrow for the uh, ASP20 actually. Okay, so basically on the arrival airport you have a similar thing. Um, here it's called, or the abbreviation is STAR. Uh, <coughs> a standard arrival uh, route. And here you can also select it here at the arrival drop down. So here it's for all. So we can just browse through it and see uh, which looks pretty good, which is not too far away 
Um, it is sometimes a little bit hard to, to hit. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty weird. You fly all the way down and then fly back up. Yeah, but for now, to not make it too long, um, I will just select one. So then uh, the next thing is the approach that you want to fly. Um, this is basically for a precision approach. Uh, so it's so called because you use basically radio signals like an ILS antenna um, to get the aircraft down to the runway, even if you have low visibility. So ILS is the most advanced. So here the approach is uh, the purple line and you see here the very last part um, this is already aligned to the runway so this makes sure that you will um, yeah easily go down to the runway for your landing let's see if we can still modify this yeah so sometimes it's really some weird creations um, just try what fits best and yeah that's it actually how you can uh, make a flight plan on the world map of MSFS.